Numbers chapter 14, well, just before you get into 14, you have the whole crazy debacle of the spies going in to check out the land, and they come back with a bad report, except for Joshua and Caleb. All the other spies saw the enemy's faces. Joshua and Caleb saw fruit. All the other spies saw walls and fear. Joshua and Caleb saw walls crumbling by faith. They all saw something different, except Joshua and Caleb saw the Lord. They saw the foe. They saw the enemy. And so in chapter 14, as we step into it, listen to what happens in the very first verses. So all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried, and the people wept that night. They're they're crying and weeping. And all the children of Israel complained against Moses and Aaron, and the whole congregation said, If only we had died in the land of Egypt, or if only we had died in the wilderness. Why has the Lord brought us to this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and children should become victims? Would it not be better for us to return to Egypt? They're so fearful, they're so afraid of the enemies there in the land of promise, that they say, hey, we'd be better off dead would be better off in Egypt. And so their fear leads them to a foolish decision. Listen to what they say. Let us select a leader. They said this to one another and return to Egypt. They have been so filled with fear, so lack of faith, that now they want to go back to Egypt where there were slaves, where their firstborn children were being killed. Lack of faith and fear always leads to a foolish decision. This is a great chapter about trusting the Lord in the face of opposition, the face of things that seems like there's no way I could pull this off. And here's the thing, they were unwilling to trust the Lord. They were unwilling to listen to Moses, to Joshua, to Caleb. And you know, sometimes we feel like, well, I'm inadequate, I can't do it, I'm afraid to move forward. And that's the very time you need to step back and say, You know, what is the Lord really asking me to do? What's he called me to do? Should I step into this and trust him? Maybe it's sharing your faith. Maybe it's serving in a certain area of ministry. Maybe it's just being faithful with your money and saying, oh, I don't have enough, I can't give. There's that call beyond yourself to step into what God's called you to do and not live a life of fear and pull back and say, well, I'll just go back to my old life. It'd be better if I never even got into this thing. But look what happens in the future. You know the story. It was time for them to take the land, but instead they wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. This is a great chapter about looking at things, not just through our own eyes, but through the eyes of faith. And instead of being fearful, and having a foolish plan to be trusting what the Lord's called us to do and having a faithful plan. Chapter 14, the book of Numbers, is a turning point in the life and in the health and in the spiritual guidance of the people of Israel. It's also a warning to us about stepping out and doing and trusting and being obedient to what God has put before us.